Hello. I'm uh, absolutely thrilled to share with you that uh, Mindfulness UK is ce celebrating an anniversary, an eighth anniversary today. And um, I just thought I wanted to share that with you. And also I've really been asked quite a lot recently, uh, mainly from my students and my graduates on our teacher training programmes, but by a lot of other people as well, as to how I actually went about setting up Mindfulness UK. So as part of my celebration, I thought I would just share with you um, some of the sort of processes and things that I went into developing uh, what we offer here, which is uh, teacher training and uh, lots of teaching and mindfulness and compassion skills. So um, I was working in the NHS and private sector and decided uh, through years and years of teaching mindfulness and compassion skills to patients that actually there was something else that I wanted to do and more that I could do. And so I took a very deep breath and um, bought a property with the help of a friend of mine um, who wanted to support me in that and set up a private health centre. And um, it, it started to develop into um, teaching more and more mindfulness. And so I thought that I would buy a name, a mindfulness name for a domain name for a website and uh, chose Mindfulness UK. Um, seemed to do what I had planned to do for the future um, in the name. And so, uh, yes, I just started teaching more and more mindfulness and uh, the eight week courses and uh, started doing some teacher training in very small ways in work workshops and so on. And then I decided uh, noticing, feeling, knowing that there was a shift around teaching mindfulness and how important it was to gain a qualification for people who wanted to deliver mindfulness and compassion skills. I developed um, a qualification and uh, it was a real leap of faith because I had no idea really uh, whether this was going to work and obviously put m so much work into it and um obviously <laughs> and it's really really been such a wonderful part of the work that i do i feel so passionate now as i did when i first started um, teaching mindfulness and um, compassion skills 30 years ago uh, through my yoga practice and through my meditation classes i feel as passionate now about it as i did then if not very much more so um, and part of that reason, or the very big part of the reason, is because I myself feel that I've been <clears throat> very much transformed uh, through the practices that I do, through awareness, and uh, my life has been so enhanced as a result of doing this work. And I really love to work with people who feel that they want to make a fundamental change in the way that they relate to themselves and relate to other people, uh, which was the real incentive for me to be setting up in the first place. And so I've been so privileged to be able to set up a business, to set up an organisation where I'm employing people um, and have associate tutors and consultants working with me, taking mindfulness into every single sphere um, as sort of explained in the uh, Mindful Nation report. And um, I just feel that uh, mindfulness and compassion skills are needed more and more within our society. And it really helps us to get back to our core values and to really help to sustain us in a very different way to perhaps other ways that we um, use to, to support ourselves and our well-being. So yes, I still feel as passionate about it. And uh, just to say, even in the middle of it, I suffered with a, a life-threatening condition and of cancer. And um, I had a time where I just thought, is this what I want to continue doing? Do I want to continue teaching and um, growing the business and uh, taking mindfulness out more and more? And, you know, obviously during my rehabilitation, I had plenty of time to sit with it. And in fact, it's rather like a calling to me. I just couldn't imagine doing anything else. I just feel so blessed and um, just
just want to take these powerful tools out into the world and help us all to feel a little bit more connected to ourselves and to others. So, um, you know, it, it took, has taken time. Eight years is you know, a reasonable amount of time in anybody's working career. Um, but it's the passion that drives it and the real commitment to the practice. And also, I've got such a fabulous team around me. Um, so many people who feel the same way that I do. And I want to thank them as well for their input and for their support. Um, it's just been fantastic working with you over the last few years. And um, let's hope we have many more to come. So thank you very much for listening. And um, happy anniversary to Mindfulness UK. Thank you. Bye.